it's actually kind of interesting that you brought up um, dating because Sylvie and I met these two, or this uh, man who developed an app called Bodyguard. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, obviously, it's if you can decide that the person across the road in the coffee shop is not for you and you can make a quick getaway, that's fine. But if you've arranged to meet someone say in a dark parking lot yeah, at night idea. in a bad Which area. Which we really do not advise. <laughs> we don't, no, do not try this at home, kids. But uh, leave this to the experienced professionals. But uh, if, if you are going to be going out and meeting someone who you don't know, it is advisable always to be secure. And, and the conversation Lydia and I had today with, uh, with Empower was about uh, this new app, Bodyguard. Bodyguard, even, bodyguard. which is like having a little bodyguard in your pocket, really, in the form of your mobile phone. And I thought that was quite a cool idea. Yeah, basically what the app does is it um, pinpoints your GPS location when you want it to. So, for example, let's say you're going to meet Mark, <laughs> some guy you met on the sub thing that he was just talking about, and you're kind of like, oh, I don't know about this guy. So it's a bit shady. <laughs> it looks a little bit shady. Just the hair. <laughs> so you'd basically turn on the app, and if you were in trouble, you could either send out an SOS message, or if you don't check in, check back in with friends and family, they can pinpoint where you are. It can also take pictures and video, or uh, audio, yeah, which I thought was really interesting. Yeah, I think it takes really a picture every 10 seconds. When, once you press the emergency button, it starts taking pictures every 10 seconds and uploading them directly to the cloud, so you're not even actively uploading it. It is uploading it, and, uh, and then it sends out a link to your contact, emergency contact people and they can access that. It starts recording live audio straight away once you press the emergency button. It pinpoints your GPS location every three seconds from the moment you've, you've uh, pressed the emergency button. So if you've been kidnapped by, by this shady character over here and shoved in the boot of a car, it will then follow that car around until security services hopefully find you and, and get you back home. But speaking of blurting out things that we did over here mm -hmm. in line, not necessarily to the bathroom, but that we did here today, was uh, that the CEO of Groupon oh, yes. actually did not show up for one of his panels today. His panel that he was moderating. Yes, and uh, when a moderator of a panel, who happens to be a CEO of a rather successful company, decides at the last minute that 12.30 is a little bit early for him in the morning, that might come across as being a little bit disrespectful. But can you blame? Do you think there was a daily, daylight saving times issue there? There may have At 12.30 in the perhaps afternoon? Perhaps he had a, an iPhone, and, and we don't know what's actually happened with the Verizon iPhones uh, this time around and whether they, they have or haven't fixed that issue. In other panels today, there was, there was obviously there was the panel about Foursquare today, Lydia, which I know that, you, that you've been uh, thinking about quite a lot because a lot of people have been... Uh, talking about Foursquare and, and scavengers obviously was yesterday. Yep. So is this turning out to be the big Foursquare versus scavenger battle that the bloggers are all tweeting about? Yes, partly because the Foursquare panel seemed to fall a little bit short today, whereas the scavenger panel kind of gave everyone renewed excitement about the whole location-based check-in services. But what these companies are failing to do is really create real life, real world benefits for both brands and consumers. And so few people are using them in the uh, scheme of things. You know, it's all early adopters and smartphone users right now who are really actively using Foursquare and things like Scavenger and Gowalla. Um, so these big brands are really trying to figure out how to leverage it. And I don't think that anyone's really come up with a viable way to do it. So it's really it's going to be really interesting to see how location and check-in based services kind of evolve into other things, other apps, other types of uh, you know mobile applications that really make sense for both consumers and brands. So I'm really interested in that. Well, I actually thought that the guy we interviewed earlier today from Qualcomm from Near that was fascinating. Had come up with a pretty good way to leverage yes. that actually. And I think that Foursquare and Scavenger both have quite a lot to learn from and something that's basically just they emerged do. from Qualcomm Labs as a bit of an experiment. But that guy was fascinating this morning, and he yeah, was talking he was. to us about about how your your to do list can basically remind you of the things that you have to do. But it was also linked with location, with location, and passively being able to to pick up where you are, but only in a very well-defined group, and I thought that was really well thought out. He, basically what the app did was it automatically checked you in, um, you know, S Sylvie is at work, she is at home, she's at the Austin, Texas Convention Center. Um, 
but it would send these messages, these location-based check-in messages to a select group of people she chose. So maybe her husband, maybe her mom, and maybe me and Mark, you know? Um, only people she trusted, and it would automatically check her in. And if she decided to go off the grid, she could stay fixed in the last location she was at. And basically, this whole to-do list thing that Sylvie mentioned was you, walk, you put something on your to-do list and you tag it, okay, this is, remind me when I go to Costco. So when you walk into Costco, your phone goes beep, and you look at it, and it says, buy paper towels. And I thought that was really, really interesting, for not only because it's just an awesome tool, but also because that's a good way to leverage with brands, you know? Oh, buy paper towels, bounty on sale, 20 cents a roll, whatever it is, I don't know. You know, so I think that's actually a much more viable solution than something like Foursquare that requires you go on your phone, you log in, it doesn't work five times, and then it finally does, and you can check in. And then you get a badge saying, mayor of Costco. Yeah, it's about Yay. real life rewards now. It's not really yeah. about the digital rewards.